Welcome back to EO Real Talk. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Jen. And one thing with the real part of the real talk <laughs> is we're going to talk about real life and real emotions and real stuff that happens that's maybe not so pleasant. Okay, so I was telling Jen just about something real minor that had happened in my day, and she's like, oh, I've got a story for you. <laughs> and my jaw literally hit the floor. Um why don't you tell the good folks at home this what horror happened? story? So if you watch our intro video, I referenced my chickens, right? Yes, and you could hear them yes. chirping in the background. And this last week, I decided to put them out into the yard. There's a little coop, but the door was open. But they're in a fence that's, you know, several feet high, like four feet, you yes, know. Yes, super safe. Totally safe. I mean, like my toddler could go catching, th crashing through it. But I mean, I felt comfortable with it. Well, I get a call from my neighbor you guys, and you don't even know. He's like, um, it's about your chickens. And my first thought was, the chicken coop is blazing. It's on fire. Like, he wants to <laughs> kindly tell me to call 911 or something. Well, no. He's like, my dog jumped the fence and killed all of your chickens. And I think I was like, oh, that's so sad. I think that's all I said to him. And the reason it was sad for me is I wouldn't consider myself much of a chicken person. I mean, I like to eat them more than I like to raise them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. But my sister had given me some fertilized eggs and we incubated those little things in my closet. I considered taking these eggs with me <laughs> on my vacation. Did you know this? I did know this. Because they were going to hatch. And, and I Richard want... was like, no, we are not taking, we are not hatching chickens in a hotel. Period. And I was wondering, I'm like, would they kick me out if they saw chickens in there? Like, what would happen? But They'd probably just charge you extra. <laughs> a pet fee? <laughs> yes. So I, I, I did consider bringing it. I didn't. But we had three little chicks that hatched. And they were like the ugliest things you've ever seen. <laughs> but it was like hatching, birthing my own baby. It doesn't matter how ugly the child is. I still like him. I mean, one of my oh sons my was legit not a cute child. Oh, my God. And I loved him. I loved him. I still do. And now he's a lot more handsome. It's true. Uh, it, all it's, your kids are precious. Yeah, but one of them just was did not start out well. So anyway, I've got these <laughs> ugly chickens. But it was fun because we like, I felt like I birthed them. So the dog murdered them. And I found chicken carcasses all over my oh, yard. Oh my gosh. Guts from what you're telling me. Guts everywhere. You're like, it's still Yeah, there. I'm like, oh, I guess chickens would have an intestine. Intestines. Oh and they're... So did you like glove up? Like, what did you do? You're like, well, we got to put the hazmat suit on. No, because my stinking husband do. is out of town. Every time something weird happens, he's gone. <laughs> And this, anyway, so I got my six, one of my seven year old, I have twins that are seven and I got one of them is a boy. And I was like, Hudson, you're going to have to reach into the coop and get all the dead chickens out and put them in the garbage can. And I didn't have any gloves. So it's a good thing I save all my grocery bags. We double bagged it. Double bagged. And he'd grab their little bodies and plop them into the oh bin. Oh my gosh. It was great. But my kids were sad because they loved yes. to go out and play with these chickens. So this well, is just... right. And also, I'm sorry. I don't care if I'm not an animal person. I don't care if you love or hate animals. When you see the carcass of anything strewn about, it's, it's a little gross, right? Yeah. I don't, like, I don't like murdering things. It makes me sad. But when it's like something that you've raised, it's like, oh, horrifying. And anyway, the visual of the dog. I'm just thinking of like the dog from Sandlot, that <laughs> giant animal. What do they call it? The beast? He wants to get over in my yard so bad. So this is a great time for oils because... Hudson, my seven-year-old twin, who was the chicken, I don't know, mortician? Body snatcher? Like mortician. He okay. dressed them for burial. I don't know. Okay. Which was hucking them in a bin. But then you've got Hazel, his twin sister, who loved the chicken. In fact, she mm. told Richard, my husband, I actually like the chickens as much as I like you. <laughs> so to tell her that they Ooh. died while she was at school was sad, and she ran in her room and cried. So... Oh, I want to talk about oils that can get you through emotional times. Now, I realize that some and of, hatred of your neighbor's dog. Yes, and I, but I do have incredible neighbors because they totally they they came and helped us build a better coop. They've been wonderful to work with, and we do have new chickens. They're in the backyard. Hopefully, not dead. We'll find out later. So, DoTerra released an emotional aromatherapy line several years ago, and there are six. Dun, 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 dun. Look at those pretty colors. Aren't these so pretty? There are six oils, and they're all designed to help with your emotions. Now, I never want to minimize those who need to be on a medication for right. any sort of mood issue. And I realize, and I'm sorry if I'm calling it the wrong thing, but if you need a medication for 
just whatever it is to help stabilize how you're feeling or help you to function better, please stay on it if, if it's helping you. Yes. But one thing I do like about doTERRA's oils is that we experience an array of emotions every single day. And so sometimes if, you know, in the past I have taken medications, what was a little bit tricky for me is that medication targeted one thing. Like it was one type of swing right. in my mood. It didn't adjust to my mood, who, which constantly adjusted. So for example, when the when I found out the chickens were all dead, I was actually most set about these three ugly ones that we had. We had purchased some more purebred chickens that were much cuter. I wasn't as sad about them. I had no idea there was such thing as a purebred chicken. Well, the other ones were a little so mutts. They're a little mutts, yes. So um, there's different there's different oils. So in any day, you're, you're gonna experience a ton of different emotion. And I'm gonna put on the screen for you a picture of doTERRA's emotional aromatherapy wheel, and I wanna explain it briefly. Right. So you'll notice several negative emotions on there. Now, I experienced several of these negative emotions when I found out the chickens were At one time, because we're, we're dead. Like, multidimensional There was people. like, oh my gosh, like I like opened the lid of all and bathed them all on me. Should I shower <laughs> in them? Like put them in the Epsom salts? I wasn't, diffuse all of them? Like what do I do? But what I want you to do is look at that emotional wheel and just and pick something that you want to feel less of. So maybe you're feeling anxious. Maybe you're feeling not motivated. Maybe you're feeling your grief or sadness. But look at an emotion that you want to ditch. And if you look to the right and to the left of that emotion, you're going to notice a bottle of oil. One on the right, one on the left. So it's on the outside of the wheel. So let's say that you're feeling anxious. Peace oil is a really good oil to help you get rid of those feelings of anxiety. Now, I started feeling anxious during this moment because then there's me and I, what if my kids had been out there and the dog would have gotten to my kids when the chickens were, you know, he would have, would he, would he have hurt the chickens or the kids to get to the chickens, you know? That's right. when I was using peace. And then I was feeling frustrated at the dog. I'm like, why would you kill my chickens? You didn't even eat them. You just murdered them. Oh gosh. And then I had to clean it up. So that's a good time for forgive oil is just to help me release that, th those feelings. I like that one. Now, one of the oils in forgive, mm -hmm. I think black spruce is in here. Is it not? I thought it there was is a, There is a spruce in here. So spruce oil is really good to help release feelings of, just to release those negative feelings. So forgive oil. And then I had some kids that were pretty upset. Some of them were like, cool, can I go see them? And other ones like ran to their rooms oh and they gosh. were very emotional. Console oil is really good. We, we had a guinea pig. I was pregnant with my youngest and I, it got sick and we took it to the vet and the, the vet so graciously offered. Wait, you can take guinea pigs to the vet? You can't. I'm like, it's dying. I don't know what to do. And they're like, well, for $80, oh we'll put it down. And I was like, we'll take care of it at home. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, we humanely put it out of its misery, mm -hmm. but it was so sad. Even my husband was so upset. So console oil was really good in that moment. So this was good. Same thing with the chickens is console oil can be good. And then cheer. Cheer is just good to help. I give love you a, that one. Give, give you a pick me up and just help you to feel better. So I don't know that I used motivate or passion as much in this instance, but you know, in any given day, you'll find that you'll you'll find a reason to use almost all of these oils. And then it's kind of an intu intuitive thing. Like if you find that you don't love the smell of one, use what does appeal to you. Yeah. So like the day that that happened with my guinea pig, I actually for the first time was like, I really like console because my body and my emotions needed what was what that had to offer. So. Okay. I want to talk about something that um, a couple years ago, I listened to a presentation from some therapists talking about how they are using these emotion oils in their practice. And I am married to a therapist. So this was really intriguing to me. You know, when you like walk by a smell like a perfume or cologne or any kind of smell and it takes you back to like your boyfriend in high school <laughs> or like and then you oh, feel guilty because like you're like Ooh, that smells good <laughs> yes. and then he pops in your okay, mind and you're I, like, went, ah. I went one step further and like a boyfriend in high school I bought that same cologne for my husband and I make him wear it on date night so that's not weird right <laughs> anyway it just brings back all of those flirtatious feelings and he actually wears it on our date nights and my seatbelt smells like it because I make him drive my car. So when I was driving over to Jen's, I was like, oh, it smells like date night. Anyway, I digress. Um, these therapists were having their clients 
choose an oil that they liked. And every time they came in for therapy in like a safe environment where they, it was a controlled environment, they could, you know, express their feelings and et cetera, et cetera. They would smell this oil. And then when they were outside of the therapist's office, if they were experiencing a negative emotion, they would take the same oil and smell it. And those feelings of remembering that they were in the therapist's office, feeling safe, feeling um, cared for, feeling in control would come back to them. So I don't think we can underestimate the power of smell. Your sense of smell. So, so powerful. nothing affects your mood quicker than the, your sense of smell. And there's some oils that are shown to really benefit your mood. Um, citrus oils are really good. A lot of floral oils are really good. Um, spruce oil. Really good to help you just let go and release. And a lot of times with our mood, we've got to let go and release to be able to move on and, and overcome. So Lindsay's exactly right. You smell a cologne that reminds you of a boyfriend. And I don't you right think you're there. like, ooh, I need to have him in my life again. But it reminds you of the feelings of oh, yes. like being with him and being excited. <laughs> and, you know, obviously now you have that with Josh. And now it reminds you of date night, which is all sorts of exciting. I actually don't think I've ever told him that. Like, oh, hey, this is the reason why. Josh, don't watch this. <laughs> Uh-huh. Anyway, Awkward. so yeah, anything, mood mood is very quickly affected by your sense of smell. Oh. So anyway, mood oils are effective. You can also find oils that are good for your mood, like some of the floral oils are incredible. Magnolia can be really good. Um, Neroli is really good. Jasmine's really good. Rose is really good. And mm -hmm. one resource that I would recommend that you find just for the sake of making this little video not three hours and and 14 minutes <laughs> is you just can, three hours and 12 you can it'll be a little shorter <laughs> is you can either buy or download on your phone the essential oils and emotions book and it will tell you what each oil can help with when it comes to emotions and it's really interesting to check out the floral oils and the citrus oils to see how they can can help you so you can download that so you can always have it on your phone you can buy a copy off amazon but you'll, you'll be interested to see. And a lot of times you're like, oh my gosh, I've been <laughs> wanting orange in my life. Like yes. all the time. And then you realize why it's, why you're wanting that to smell that orange. So I love it. Which mood oil do you use the most? Me? Probably the adaptive one right now, just cause it's been so great. Same. Um, I would say overall though, balance. Balance is like the OG mood oil. Hi, welcome home. Come here. I'm going to give you a hug. Ooh. Ooh, did you make a project? I love it. <laughs> it smells like perfume. Hey, Maddox. Huh? What's your favorite? Are you sniffing me? It's <laughs> <laughs> cute. I love it. Um, the day that my website crashed and died and my company had deleted my C panel, <laughs> um, this is what I was rolling all over my Mag body. Magnolia. Magnolia. It was, it was helpful. I feel like I worked through it pretty fast. Let's say, hypothetically, I have a three-year-old that is seriously going through something, crying, whining all the time. What would you recommend oil-wise? Besides just dunking him in lavender. <laughs> just a pure bath of lavender. Boink! <laughs> so I really like, for my kids, Balance is one of my favorite. That's probably my overall favorite mood oil. Um, I go through phases of liking new oils. I do of adaptive, but right, balance same. is one of my favorite ones. Um, the kids oil calmer can also be really good as well to help your kids relax. You know what I do is why my didn't I think of that? I don't know. But one thing I've done with my kids is I'll get a few oils and I'll set them on my counter and just let them pick what they want. Oh, I love that. So, and I'll ask them what smell do you like? Kind of like I just asked Maddox who was sniffing me, what <laughs> smell you like and like you said, if there is a smell they like, the cologne thing, right? Yes. You, you brought back positive memories. If there's a smell they like, that's going to calm them and soothe them because obviously they've got some positive memories with that smell and they like it. So I let them pick. And then I, I kind that. of know what their oil is. So that's what I do. That's good. And I also feel like them smelling that in the safe space in their home creates that positive mm -hmm. memory for them so that when they're freaking out later on outside of the home, you can be like, oh, where's your little oil? Yeah with it and let them letting them have their own roller maddox somebody gave me a blend something to do with diamond and goals and whatever excuse me but someone gave me that blend and maddox calls it his oil and you'll find him 
<laughs> rolling it all over his body. <laughs> he loves it. So anyway, He's I'm such a musher. I love him. Oils can be so great for emotions. And you know what I recommend doing if you're wondering and you're feeling overwhelmed because I just listed 27 di different oils <laughs> is just start with a couple. I think right. balance can be a good place to start. Adaptive can be a good place to start. The emotional aromatherapy oils that I just mentioned do come in a set. Um, that can be, and, and if you buy them in the roller bottles, like these right here, you're gonna see that they're called touch oils. These are just the pure oil without any carrier oil in it. You can buy a set of these six oils that I mentioned in the roller bottles, and they're a little bit less expensive because they have fractionated coconut oil in them. But just start, look at a list and just pick one. Yeah. If it's balanced, that's great. If it's adaptive, that's great. If magnolia just stands out in your mind, grab it. I feel like our we need to trust our intuition more. So just grab a couple, see how they work. Um, what works great for me may not work well for you, but just pick a couple and see how you like them. Here's the cool thing. If you don't end up loving them for your mood, you will like them for other things. So Right. Or someone else in your home may or, or someone else, someone the else counter will, when they need a little. Someone else extra. will really love it. So just pick one or two that just jumps out at you and start there and see how you like it. And comment. I want to hear your emotion, oil, crisis, <laughs> chicken murdering <laughs> stories. I want to hear how the oils have helped you in your life. I want to hear what or your favorites are. Or if they have are. questions about, hey, I'm experiencing this, what do you recommend yeah. for an oil? We can help there Totally, too. we're happy to answer in the comments. So if you're wondering, I'm feeling stressed all the time, what oil would be good? The answer is balance, of course, but, <laughs> or not having a hard time relaxing, you know, adaptive or balanced. But Magnolia. you can tell I really like these oils, but ask questions, leave comments about what you like. Um, I want to hear about your experiences. And of course, we love to hear from you. So if and you're learn in, from you and learn from you. So go ahead and like this, comment on it. If these videos are helpful, of course, subscribe, because then you can wake up and watch us every day. Duh. Then you won't need your emotion oils. Because you have us. You have us. And we're joy. And you can practically smell us through the camera. So <laughs> there's that. Mm -hmm. All right. Happy oily. <laughs>